Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the Piano Roll Editor in Cakewalk. Click on the Plugins tab, and click on the Virtual Instruments icon. Then click on the plus icon to the right of the General MIDI folder. And then double click on Cakewalk TTS1. Then click on OK on the pop up menu. Now double click on the track recording area of the TTS1 track to open the Piano Roll Editor pane. In the middle section of the Piano Roll Editor pane is a grid. This is where you add music notes. The grid is split into rows. To add a note to a row, double click on a row. All notes on the same row play the same key pitch. To the left of the grid is a virtual MIDI keyboard. The notes on the virtual MIDI keyboard line up with the grid rows. So the notes on the grid play the same key pitch as the key on the virtual MIDI keyboard for that row. When you move the mouse cursor over a grid row, the name of the key pitch is shown on the virtual MIDI keyboard key for that row. To delete a note, right mouse click on the note. To move a note to another row, or to a new position on the same row, press on the note and drag up, down, left or right. To move more than one note at a time, press down on the right mouse button and drag the mouse cursor over all the notes. Then press on any one of the notes and drag them up, down, left or right. Below the grid is the controller pane that shows the velocity of the notes in the grid. Press the left mouse button on the top of the velocity marker and drag up or down to change the velocity of the note. A pop-up message shows the new velocity value of the note. Above the grid is the Timeline Ruler. A small vertical line on the ruler with a number next to the line shows where the bar measure starts. A bar measure is also called a whole note. The time signature of the song is currently set to 4 over 4. So there are four vertical lines in every bar measure. Each vertical line shows where each beat of the bar measure starts. 
and each beat is called a quarter note. When you double click on the grid to add a note, two things happen. Firstly, the note is either placed so it starts on a vertical line, or it is placed so it starts exactly halfway between two vertical lines. Secondly, it is exactly the same length as the distance between two vertical lines. You can change the length of the note either by clicking on the note icons above the ruler or by right mouse clicking on the note duration icon at the top of the screen. Then clicking on a note length on the pop-up menu. You can also change the note length after it is created by pressing on the end of the note and dragging left or right. Notice though that when you drag the end of the note, the note icon above the ruler also changes and all future notes will be the new length. If you don't want this to happen, right mouse click the note duration icon. And click on last touched on the pop-up menu to untick it. The note positioning on the grid is currently set to 8th notes. To change this, right mouse click on the snap note duration icon. Then click on a different duration length on the pop-up menu. And now if I click on it again, and click on one quarter, then all the new notes that I add will be exactly on the quarter beat. If you do not want your notes to snap to these positions, click on the snap icon to turn snap off. You can turn snap on or off anytime by clicking on the snap icon. 
this will not affect any of the notes that you have already added. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.